Now let's write the quadratic equation into the root form of the equation. If you know either the vertex or the roots and one additional point, you can write the equation of that quadratic. So to write the equation of a quadratic from its roots, substitute root 1 and root 2 into the root form of the equation, substitute the given point for x and y, and solve for a. So this is pretty much the same type of deal as um, solving for vertex form. The root form of the equation is y equals a times x minus root 1 times x minus root 2. So I will start again by making two columns and writing the equation of these into the two columns. Now on the right side, the root form, the y stays the same. I do not know what a is. This will be x minus root 1. Well, let's look at this with roots of 4 and negative 1. So x minus 4 times x minus a negative 1. So this is going to be y equals whatever a is, because I don't know it, times x minus 4 times x plus 1. So I have everything I need here but the a. That is what I need to find. And I will find that by substituting everything back into the equation. 0 will be the x and 8 will be the y. So we have 8 equals a, which we don't know, times x is 0 minus root 1, which is 4, times 0 minus root 1, which is negative 1. So this is really 8 equals a times negative 4 times positive 1. So 8 is equal to negative 4a. And when we divide both sides by negative 4, a is equal to 8 over negative 4, which is equal to negative 2. So this is what I put into the blank. This is the equation of the quadratic in root form, given the roots and a point. Example 2. Write the equation of the quadratic function with a double root at 4 and f of negative 1 is equal to 5. So a double root at 4 just means that this is root 1 and root 2. The negative 1 is the x value and 5 is the y value. So let's set up two columns. y equals a x minus root 1 times x minus root 2. On the right side y equals a times x minus 4 times x minus 4. I just need to find what a is. So let's plug in what we know. y is 5, a is we do not know, x is negative 1 minus 4, negative 1 minus 4, and simplifying this, this is a times, so this is negative 5 times negative 5. Simplifying, we have 5 equals 25a, because negative 5 times negative 5 is 25. Divide both sides by 25, and we get a is equal to 5 over 25, which is simplified or reduces down to 1 fifth. So a is equal to 1 fifth y equals 1 fifth times x minus 4 times x minus 4. Write the equation of the quadratic pictured here. We are given x is 0, y is negative 12, one of my roots is 1, and the other root is 3. So now we just plug in our equation. So y equals a times x minus root 1 times x minus root 2 on both sides. On the right-hand side, we basically have everything we need to have our equation, except we do not know what a is. But the roots are 1 
and 3. Let's plug in the information on the left hand side and solve for a. So y is negative 12. This is equal to a times the x value is 0 in this problem. So we have negative 12 is equal to a times negative 1 times negative 3. So negative 12 is equal to 3a divide both sides by 3 and a is equal to negative 12 over 3 which is negative 4. So here is the equation written in root form given a point 0 comma negative 12 and the roots 1 and 3.